So today, uh, my friend Will and I will be teaching you how to erect a temporary fencing. The reason you erect a temporary fencing on a work site like this is to keep your pedestrians safe. Will, if you can just jump on that side, mate. No worries. So as you can see here, we've already got one of the blocks installed and it's simple as popping this in like that. So Will, my friend, if you can just hold that for a sec. I've got it. So the next step that we're going to be doing now is installing the concrete blocks. It will be the main support for our temporary fencing. Slot it in like so. So what I'm going to do now is install these little brackets to hold the two pieces of temporary fencing together. You can purchase these in store um, separately. There's a couple of ways to install these. You can either use a cordless drill with a socket or the old fashioned way with a shifter. When installing these, especially facing onto a footpath, make sure your flat side is facing out so no potential hazards. So it's just as easy as sliding right over the top. So now that we've got that nice and secure, our next step is to put up our safety struts. These will come with your temporary fencing. So all you need is one of these and two temporary fence clamps, which we saw before. And of course, your trusty friend. William, you just hold that there for me. Thank you, sir. So what I like to do, I install the top one first because it's obviously nice and easy. Just as tight as you can with your fingers. And then for the bottom, exactly the same thing. Fantastic. So now you can see we can both let go and it's not falling over. And all we need to do now is just tighten our little bolts at the back. Today we'll be installing three of these concrete blocks to increase our stabilisation. Slide straight over the top like that. With council regulations you do need three of these because it can become a safety hazard. So there you have it. That's how you install a temporary fencing. Yeah.